Watching voodoo. Here, Priestess Jones says she's pulling out someone's <laughs> negative energy and shaking it away. I'm struck by how similar it is to what's being done right now in mainstream American hospitals. It's called therapeutic touch, and it's practiced in hundreds of medical centers, even during surgery. In Connecticut, nurse Ann Miner does therapeutic touch on Lisa Brackett to help treat her leukemia. Tremendous heat coming from your heart center. Do you feel it? Yeah, I do. The nurse supposedly feels without touching from three or four inches away, feels the defective energy pouring out. I can feel where the energy is balanced and where it's not balanced. I can feel where it's intense. I can feel it's depleted. Then she says she channels the healing energy of the universe through her hands to you. There's no scientific proof that this works, but the patient says that doesn't matter. I don't need explanations because I have faith in the process. That's a really wonderful thing when you feel helpless, terrified, when you're given a diagnosis, like I was. It's hard to argue with satisfied patients. But two years ago, a nine-year-old girl in Colorado thought Hello. that for her fourth grade science okay. project, she'd put therapeutic touch to the test. Today I'm going to test you on how well you can feel the human energy field. Emily Rose's test was simple. She asked practitioners of therapeutic touch to feel the energy from her hand. But first, she had them put their hand through a towel and piece of cardboard so they couldn't see where her hand was. She didn't ask them to heal anything. She just asked the most okay. basic question. Tell me which of your hands you think my hand is over. Left. Again and again, touch therapists failed the test. Left. Amazingly, they kept volunteering to take the test. And even when they right. failed to do better at picking the correct hand than they would have done flipping a coin, Right. Their faith in their skills was not dimmed. Okay. This woman guessed right only three times out of ten. How do you think the test went? I think it went very well. Okay, you got one right. <laughs> Sorry. So, were they embarrassed? No, not really. Um, some thought if you got four out of ten right, they thought you'd pass. And obviously they didn't know their statistics. We ask more than a dozen therapeutic touch specialists to come here and take your test, and not one would. Does that surprise you? Mm-mm. No. Why is it? Lots of people think that I scared them really good. Well, not that good. Though Emily's test got publicity, it was published in the prestigious Journal of the American Medical Association. Since then, therapeutic touch is practiced more than ever. 80,000 practitioners, most of them registered nurses, who say they can feel the human energy field by passing their hands over the body. Gee, I'll give them a million dollars if they can prove that in a simple test that'll take less than 20 minutes. Do I hear anybody at the door, John? No. Where are they? Scientists say it's not that therapeutic touch or voodoo directly do anything physically to anyone. It's just that if you believe in them, they sometimes can have an effect. The placebo effect, it's called. If you think a therapy will work, that alone may make you feel better. Group one will be getting a substance that is a stimulant. At our request, psychiatrist Michael Aronoff told these students and teachers at Manhattan's Kaplan Educational Services that for a test, he would give some of them a stimulant and others a sleeping pill. What we are interested in is the effect on your usual sleep pattern. And if we like it, can we get it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what they didn't know was that they were all given a placebo, an inert pill that doesn't do anything. The result? Well, two students felt nothing. I had no effect from this at all. It, it didn't change my sleep patterns. I thought it was a psychology experiment. But three-fourths of the group felt a difference, some a big difference. I felt great in the morning even though I had much less sleep than I normally did. I would love to take this drug um, every day of my life, if I could. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you know the name of it, <laughs> or where I can buy it, it would be beneficial. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was, I got good sleep, sound sleep, didn't wake up. The phone could have been ringing off the hook, I wouldn't have heard it. It was that deep of sleep. Some reported side effects. 30 minutes after I took the pill, I got a little dizzy. Then they learned the truth. You all received the same substance. 
you all received a sugar pill. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to being on national TV and saying that I took a sugar pill and boy, it made me tired. <laughs> I did feel tingling in my hand. <laughs> I did. So the placebo can be a powerful medical aid. Sweet dreams. But it has its limits. <laughs>